Hey there, hope you're having a wonderful day. In this video, we're going to go over why index starts at zero. So this is the first number, second number, and third number. Why are the indices zero, one, and two? And so to figure out why that is the case, I'm going to print out our array. So if you remember, we get this number and that is the memory address of our array. And this is a hexadecimal number. And what I'm going to do now is copy and paste this. And I'm going to do tip options plus one and tip options plus two. And this might look weird to you because you might think that I'm adding a number to an array, but actually if I run a program, you can see we get more memory addresses. So what we're actually printing is the memory address for the array or rather the starting address of the array. So the starting address starts at index zero. And when we do tip options plus one, and we print this out, we are printing out the memory address for the second element. So the second block of memory, which is index one. And then this one is the third block of memory, which is index two. So if you look at the numbers, you can see there's a difference of four every time. And that is because the size of each integer, each block is four bytes. So this is four, and then the next four will be eight, and then the next four will be 12. But because hexadecimal is 16 digits, we cannot write 10. So therefore, we have zero to nine in a decimal system. And in a hexadecimal system, after nine, we have A, which is 10, B, which is 11, and C, which is 12. So after zero to nine, we use the alphabet to denote the digits. And if I run the program, the memory addresses aren't always going to be the same, okay? So I'm going to take these values and use them as my example. So just to visualize this, I drew our stack memory and tip options. We have an array and it allocates three blocks of memory over here. So I only copy it over the last three digits because there's no point in copying the rest because they're all the same. And basically when we want to find, for instance, the value at the second index, C++ needs to figure out where that memory address is. So to figure this out, there's a simple formula and that is the target address is equal to starting address plus the index times size. So in this case, each individual size is four. And this is four bytes. So this is four bytes, this is another four bytes, and this is another four bytes, okay? So here is the offset, meaning how far from the starting address do we need to search? So index starts at zero because if I want to look for the first element or the zeroth element, if index is zero, then there's no offset. This is zero, right? Zero times anything gives us zero. Therefore, the target address will be equal to the starting address. And we know the size is four bytes, so I know all the values I want is within these four bytes. And let's say I want the value at index two. Well, it'll be the starting address plus two times four, which is eight. So Basically, to find the value at this index two, I take the starting address and I jump four and then another four, which is eight. So two times four, okay? And I know now that at index two, the memory location is over here. And then the size is four, so the value I'm looking for is within these four bytes, okay? All right, so hopefully you understand why index starts at zero. And if you found this video helpful, Make sure you give this video a like and subscribe so that you can stay up to date for more C++ tutorials or programming tutorials in general. All right, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.